Good morning, everybody. It is a very weird new angle. My light down the other end of my kitchen bench is taking forever to turn on, which is a little scary, but it eventually will turn on. But the lighting's not right. So here I am at this very weird angle. I'm finally going back to work today. I've had so many days off because they haven't been able to have me do jobs at work. So they've finally given me the all clearance. My wrist isn't better, but they've found some jobs for me to do so I can go back. Um, the reason I've come on today is that Foodie, during her Olympic Games swimming training, um, let us know that she's not yet signed up for the education classes because she's having some technical difficulties with the portals. How long has she had to get this sorted out? And she was like, "Got to, you got to go onto the to the website. You got to go onto the portal to do it, right? Right?" She was asking Sala, "Why would Sala know?" Salah's an idiot. He's an imbecile. He thinks donuts might be okay. How have you not even looked into it? You're saying, I was having technical difficulties for it, but you were like assure, getting assurance from Salah that that's how you're supposed to do it. If you weren't sure and you were having difficulties with it, wouldn't you call somebody? Wouldn't you get Salah to call someone? Wouldn't it have been one of the first things you did after being so sick and being given a prescription from your doctor. This would be considered non-compliance in a lot of places. Is that even a thing in Kuwait? Or can she just hop to another clinic or another doctor or another whatever and the next time she gets sick? It doesn't matter that she's not complying with directives given to her by a doctor. It's like type, do, type 2 diabetes is not like a rash that you just put steroid cream on it and you hope that it goes away and she's fine. You just keep using the cream. It, it, it's a legit thing, but is anyone surprised? Are we surprised that she hasn't actually done anything about finding out what she should and shouldn't be eating? No. And why? Because she knows she's going to go into that class and they're going to tell her, I'm sorry, but you can't eat all that bread. I'm sorry, you can't have all that rice. Not that you can't have rice, not that you can't have bread. You can't have all of what she's been eating. She's going to find out that her two palmfuls, double that because I can't pick it up because I've got the other arm, is not what the doctor ordered. The doctor ordered probably a quarter cup. That is the recommended dosage or dosage. <laughs> well, that's not medicine. Recommended daily intake of rice. And that's not per meal. That's probably per day. But do you... Do you Foodie could never. Foodie could never. Now, how how do, how would one stretch out rice and make it like seem like more? You'd put a whole bunch of veggies in it, but that would mean cooking it yourself. Or you could just literally steam a pre-packed, pre-chopped bag of rice, bag of uh, veggies, and then cook up. You know, I I wouldn't do batch cooking of rice with foodie. I would do a daily cook for the rice because rice is so easy to make. You could do it first thing in the morning, keep it on warm, and then pop it in the fridge once it's cooled down. And then just bag it out, like, quarter cup, quarter cup, quarter cup. That's it. I would, uh, no, I would definitely not batch rice cook for foodie. She would eat it all in one day. Because it would never get to that frozen stage, when you? Stick it in the freezer. But, yeah, foodie has, once again, not done what the doctor's ordered. And the donuts. Not one, but two, because one was for Salah. Yep, yeah, sure, okay, whatever. But one, just a plain donut, sugar and cinnamon, like, would be bad enough. But then she got one that is six inches across and weighs about two pounds. Could it, that's a that's a mini cake. That's a mini cake of donut. Just it's, it's a little. It's a little. It's not frustrating, but it's annoying. Does it? It just annoys me. It annoys me that she does everything wrong and she just gets a little bit sick, a little bit sick to go to hospital, gets a little bit of a scare and then runs right around. When there are people who are fighting tooth and nail to stay in this world with their families every day and they're doing everything right. They're going far and beyond what their doctors ordered. They change their diet. They change their routine. They, they change their lifestyle so that they can stick around and then... The end result is swift 
and sad for them. And I find that just so unbelievably frustrating that foodie beauty can do this to herself and she just keeps going and going and going. And when she says, don't worry about me, okay, we won't. We won't worry about you. My frustration comes from just, I think it, you know what I think it is? I think it's her being so, I need to do this, I need to do this. And being given every single tool and piece of information at her fingertips and she doesn't grab it. It's the ambivalence. It's the ambivalence to everything but food. And when she sits down and introduces us to a fantastic new craving, she does it with such joy and like we're going to be just as excited about the food as she is. We're actually not. We're sitting there looking like, what are you doing? This is not, you are no longer a mukbang channel where we can be just sitting there watching some idiot eat mountains and mountains of crap because we don't want to eat mountains of crap. Because that, that's where I think a lot of her audience came from was people that were like stunned, but then were like, I don't eat takeaway because I can't eat takeaway, but I'm going to watch this fat bitch do it. And now she's just, she's literally just, it's like watching somebody eat with the Grim Reaper standing over their shoulder. That's what it feels like. It's no longer the sideshow, the circus sideshow that it used to be. It's now just... Just like somebody pouring gasoline on themselves and starting to play with matches. That's what it feels like. It literally just feels like it's, what are you doing? This is dangerous. But, you know, it's her danger, not ours. We just, we're not supposed to care. Don't get invested. Don't care. Don't care, guys. She told us, don't care. Okay, so let's not. Let's not care anymore. Let's not be bothered. Let her eat all the Simpson donuts in the world. And see how that turns out for her. But when she comes back to us crying that she was so sick and she was so ill and we're just haters and F you and I didn't know. Well, you could have known if you'd gone to your education classes. You could know if you stopped looking at Instagram and TikTok for inspiration or a loophole or a quick get out of jail free card. If you just listen to the doctors, you could have a longer life than what you're already getting, but you're not going to because you just choosing to be ignorant. She's choosing to stay ignorant at this point. Oh, and just a little side note. I do know about the Evelyn drama. I posted a link on my community page to um, the ankles. First link, they have got another video that they've done. Um, I, perhaps maybe if you're triggered by funerals or eulogies or fake ass biatches, don't go and watch it because there is a reading for the poor lady, Colleen, who passed away. The the f the first girlfriend of Tommy that passed away the thousand pound lady but for, but she's not a feeder she's not a feeder she's not into super ultra morbidly obese women no 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 Tommy's not like that guys she's not because Amber says so um because she's known her for a total of four weeks she knows everything about this person after four weeks yep so if you want to go and invest your time in having a look at Amber's little bit of drama, because it'll, it'll be short and sweet and it won't last too long, but it's more interesting than foodie beauty sitting in a jacuzzi feeling unwell and then going into the aircon because movement is too much. If you want to just time out, time yourself out from foodie's boring shit for a minute and go and have a look at Amber Lynn drama, pop over to the ankle. Um, I think Piggy's got some stuff on there too. Apathetic fat... Um, Apathetic Facts has also got some videos on there. Under the Hood, Mr. Cardigan has also... I'm not sorry, Mr. Cardigan. <laughs> Mr. Snowflake. Mr. Snowflake also has a couple of videos about that too. So if you want to invest your time in there, go over and watch those guys. They've got some great content. Okay, guys. If you agree with me on what I've said about any of these two... I want to just going to say ladies, but human beings that exist in the world, let me know. 
Um, I'll be back to live streaming next week. Yes, I will. I'm um, getting back to my normal routine. I figured while I was out and injured, I should just use that time to decompress from the world a little bit. I've just been chilling. I've had so I've got so much K-pop content to um, devour at the minute. Like I've just taken some time out for me, but I will be back to do a live stream next week and my daily videos. All right, everyone. See you next time. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye.